How's it going everyone? The Salamander Man here, and today's video marks another installment in the series in which I document my adventures and give you all a close-up of some of the amazing animals that I find while I'm out here. And today's video is going to focus on one of my favorite salamanders, an incredibly beautiful, striking salamander. It's a lungless salamander, and it is the long-tailed salamander. Now, in some states, this salamander is a very uncommon find. So, finding one of these salamanders is always a treat no matter where you are, just because of the beautiful coloration that it has. And, of course, it gets its name from the incredibly long tail that it has. So, let's set out and go find this salamander. So, my search for the long tail salamander has actually brought me to a really spectacular frog called a pickerel frog, a really common frog and often confused with the leopard frog who looks very similar in terms of coloration and pattern, but there are a few key differences. So, let me get my camera set up and I will give you guys a close-up look of this really beautiful frog and tell you a little more about it. The pickerel frog, a common sight throughout its range, inhabits swamps or wooded areas near streams or ponds or lakes and often takes refuge in tall weeds. They possess a pattern of blotches that have an almost metallic sheen to them against a brownish or tannish background. They also sport flashes of yellow underneath the hind legs that warn predators of their toxicity. This frog is often confused with the leopard frog, which possesses similar coloration and pattern. The pickerel frog also participates in the annual amphibian migration to the vernal pool breeding sites, which occurs late winter to early spring given the correct weather conditions, usually around early March to May. So, we just got to see that really beautiful pickerel frog with that black spotted pattern against a brilliantly colored brown body, and it's easy to see how they can be confused for leopard frogs, considering that some leopard frogs also can have a brownish coloration as well. So, now we're going to continue to look for the long-tailed salamander. When it comes to the salamander, what are we looking for? How do we find it? Well, we are looking for a bright, vivid, orange-colored salamander with black spots all over the body and what I would consider tiger-like stripes going down the tail. Now, this salamander is a lungless salamander, just like the two-lined salamander and dusky salamander, meaning that it breathes through its skin. So its skin has to stay moist and it is very sensitive, so they won't wander too far off from the stream-like area. Now these salamanders are often found around cavernous limestone areas. So we're going to look around here and see what we can find. Okay, so my search for the long tail has brought me right here. And I've already slightly lifted this log and there is a long tail salamander right there. So I'm going to give you guys a close up look at this incredibly gorgeous salamander and tell you a little bit more about it as well. just got to see that striking coloration of the long tail salamander. And like other lungless salamanders, the male will develop a mental gland during breeding season, which is utilized during courtship to transfer pheromones to the female, who will of course later lay eggs that will hatch into aquatic gilled larvae that depend on flowing 
clean, cool streams such as this. Now, because they are in the same family as two-line salamanders, the larvae actually look quite similar to one another, blending in with a sort of sediment brownish coloration, who will of course later morph into the adult that we just got to see. So we just got to see two beautiful animals, that really amazing pickerel frog and that incredibly brightly colored orange long-tailed salamander. And it just goes to show you, if you know where to look, there's incredible wildlife all around you. So at this point, I'm gonna end the video here. Remember to leave a like, share, comment down below, and of course, subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. So until next time, I am the Salamander Man.